Salutations everybody, Reforge here back with another build guide for Better Brothers. Today I have a, some would call it a little bit of a meme build, but I don't think so. I think he makes certain fights way easier, but it's a niche build. It's a bow user. It is my Hawkeye. Some of my viewers asked me to make a dedicated archer or bow user, and this is what I feel could work. I don't use him that often. But again, in some fights, they will be very valuable and make some fights like way easier. So the general idea is you have this dude, he of course starts in the back. And you could either move in on the side a little bit when everything is engaged. Or you just push forward with your whole army and then try to snipe certain enemies like necromancers, like goblin shamans, like goblin overseers could even snipe Hexen, for example. Those targets were actually painful to deal with. You can try to snipe them with this fella here. Okay, skill points. <laughs> he starts in the back line. Student, I feel, I think is absolutely necessary. Then I do this to boost his stats. Um, I will give him this pretty early on so he can help out while he's leveling, throwing nets. This is, of course, very helpful. This is something he absolutely has to have. Because when you move around, you try to be as mobile as possible and don't waste any AP on, on like bad terrain or something like that. This is very cool because this increases the range of aim shot, which will you be using to snipe those dangerous enemies. It's a nimble build. He should never get into melee, but you know, this can happen. And then I would love to take this with him. I will take now three perks that are just to make sure that he survives. <laughs> this is footwork. Imagine you go around the flanks and then there's suddenly, I don't know, a zombie breaking out and attack you. You want to get away from him, right? Then I take anticipation just to dodge some enemy fire, you know, just to be sure. The last thing you want to have is a bolt in your face when you try to snipe those marksmen. He will be very good for this too. And then I take this, because this will increase, obviously, Fearsome. Makes him more resilient to mental attack. Like, imagine there is a Hexen that tries to mind control you. Resisting this is very key. And again, he could move around a lot alone. This, this just makes sure that his resolve will stay and he, he's not, like, wavering. And wavering would mean having minus to hit chance. On top of that, sometimes fight against undead. You killed, like, 10 or 15 zombies and the necromancer or the necromancers if you're very unlucky there are two start to waver and maybe this is the last tipping point that they need to actually break so you maybe don't even kill their target the necromancer but you bring him to flee so it maybe takes one or two turns until he gets back into fighting and this gives you some breathing room that you sometimes need in those fights what work is just if he gets catched i can just go out of this you know then maybe switch throw a net on your enemy or let a dog out so you get out of melee. This is what you always want to avoid. The last book I take, there may be a controversial take, but I feel using Headhunter is actually pretty cool. Because, like imagine you in the back line, you're just supporting your bros, you know, and then you shoot at zombies and then you get a headshot. This happens regularly and then the next round, you do an aimed shot on the Necromancer <laughs> and you will guarantee a headshot. Headshots do a lot more damage, they crit damage, and you can kill your enemies with that way faster. I love that. I mean, you can just say, you know what, I don't like this, um, I, don't, I don't use this, I just want to be more safe, I just take this, for example, right? You can, of course, do that if you like. But if you go on this side and you always do this, flanking strategy. This perk is really strong. This will make him hit really good. His resolve goes up and stuff like that. And then you don't have to take this if you want. You know, there's like some variations you could try. You could even say, you know what, I don't take all of this. I don't like fearsome. I, I don't really hit that often, so I just take fast adaptations. I just hit way more often. There's, again, a lot of options you can take, but I like it to have it like this. This is how I would build him. I feel one of them is justified. This dude has to hit, so you want to take a very precious range bro, like a hunter. He needs to really hit. 
And this is like the whole purpose of this build, sniping those dangerous enemies. And this is very satisfying, killing in round four or five, killing a necromancer, and then the fight becomes 10 times easier, you know? You wise, that's a very temp normal template uh, for a ranged bow, you start with leveling with crossbow. I would never switch to a bow unless I have a war bow or a famed bow that is actually good. This is just a bonus. If, you, if you're rich and you have money, you buy him a dog. Any reach weapon, doesn't matter. He has quick hands pretty early on, so I will give him net. He can support. That's, I feel, very, very important that, that they do this. And then just some whatever armor. Late game, this is a nimble bro. He has a dog to protect him, right? He has a war bow. It would be better if he has a famed one because they hit way better. I mean, just look at this. Only 60% against uh, effectiveness against armor, which is, this is pretty poor. You really want to craft him the big river of arrows. This is four arrows more. He really should have that. Just a net to protect yourself. And you want to have a jagged pike. Because Jagged Pites, you can move too tight and then attack. Sometimes, you know, maybe that enemy is almost dead, you're out of arrows, you go to tiles and then you finish off the enemy, you know. Kind of like that. If you want, you can do this and make your bros specific to certain fights. Then I would give him the runes that he has plus 20 resolve against mental attacks. And I would give him actually a different trinket i would give him this to boost his resolve up even more he will get to very ridiculous amounts of resolve he will resist a lot this is just if you want to spring it against hexen then you could actually do that if not i would just give him one hyena pelt okay how you skill him that's probably very straightforward you want to have some fatigue you don't need much i would say around 100 is actually fine Getting a little bit of HP if you have high rolls is fine. The big thing is, of course, range attack, resolve, and range defense. You don't need much range, range defense, and you should have plenty of resolve regardless, but boosting those stats, of course, helps, right? All right, that's my Hawkeye build. I hope you have fun with this. Feel one of one of those bros if you don't have him like all the time. He's pretty cool, like even sniping, like Marksman, for example. He's pretty cool and sniping certain enemies that are just not that many, but they're yeah, annoying. You can even snipe Beastmasters when you fight against barbarians. Those unholds that just, you know, they just run around and then they maybe attack their own people. You can, you can actually make cool plays with him, but again, very specific. Have fun with it. I see you in the next video. Have a good one.